and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to use the diagram connector tool. I'm not a huge fan of this tool but it's there and I wanted to cover it as part of my beginner playlist for Inkscape. So I've got simple objects here, just rectangles and ellipses. And down here, or with the short key O, you can activate the tool. Make sure for now that this one, so the third icon, is checked. And now you can create these L connectors. Just go to the center of one of the objects, then left click drag to the center of another object. You can now select it all, go to object, fill in stroke, and under stroke style, you can adjust, for example, the width. So let me make that thicker. I can also play around with the cap. But sometimes that produces glitches. So keep an eye on the details here. Let us go back to the tool once more, select it all. And if I uncheck this third option, we've got straight lines. If you've got these airlines, you can play around with the first and the second options to create this effect. So the overlaps are then sometimes avoided. The curvature can be seen on a 90 degree angle right there on the L connectors. You can also adjust the spacing and the length numerically. And you also have three more options above. For example, this nicely arranged the connectors. You can make the end markers point downwards, which we've got anyway. And there's a third function for overlapping shapes. For the most part, I don't like this tool and I don't find it very helpful. As you can see, sometimes it creates glitches and there's not much freedom to adjust it. So when I would want to use Inkscape for creating diagrams, I would simply use the Bezier tool and then hold the control key so that you've got straight lines and you can also create L connectors very easily by holding control. Then select all of these lines, go to fill and stroke and adjust it under stroke style. You would have to go there anyway to adjust these diagram connector lines, but maybe you find more value in this tool. So I wanted to at least cover it for my Inkscape beginner playlist. And these are the basics of how you can use this tool. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.